And my first guest is David Bryant, director of the Rancho Mirage Library, who will tell us all about the upcoming luncheon featuring Dennis Lehane, who's written such books as Mystic River and Shutter Island. He's also going to tell us about the new Rancho Mirage Library Foundation. David, welcome to the show. Hi, Jacqueline. Thank you so much for having me on. It's a, it's a privilege and uh, looking forward to being able to tell your audience that we have a brand new uh, entity in uh, Rancho Mirage, and that is the Rancho Mirage Public Library Foundation. Yes, we're all anxious to hear about that. Well, the city council have formed this uh, foundation in September, September 16th to be exact. That was the birth date. And uh, the 501c3 status will be coming. That's for your listeners. That's the tax-exempt status. It's been applied for and all, all documentation is in. And the foundation will become the, fa- the uh, fundraising arm of the Rancho Mirage Public Library. So we're uh, pleased about that. There's an 11-member board. Uh, Mayor Richard Kite is uh, on that board. There's a lot of credibility there because the, uh, it's really a who's who of Rancho Mirage serving uh, our library at this time. And we're, we're excited about the future. Well, I imagine you are now. Do do you have a mission statement for the uh, for the foundation? Well, the foundation board is intended again as the fundraising arm. Uh, as far as mission goes, it's to fill in uh, that financial need, and and this is not in any way to disparage what the city gives us because we do have a three point five million dollar budget. We are alive and well and quite healthy. Absolutely. But we. Uh, tend to have raised expectations very high. And that goes from our iconic building along Highway 111 to the uh, uh, incredible calendar of events. For instance, this quarter, January 1 through March 31, we will have over 40 programs of general interest, mostly to adults. And most of that has been under your watch, I think. It's well, we've expanded under your it a watch. little bit. Well, <laughs> thank you very much. I uh, would like to take a little bit of credit for that, but uh, by and large, I work closely with Susan Cook, our senior librarian. Oh, and yeah, she's a, always great, especially when it comes to authors and all these special things. She, she puts together a very good program schedule. We collaborate on that, and we want to mix it up with music authors. Uh, we do a lot for kids as well, uh, and we're trying to build more science into it. That's just a personal thing on my part because I think Americans are a little bit illiterate in the notion of science. I know I lead the way in that. So we'd love to have more science. uh, (laughs) Well, especially in these computer days. I mean, it's really needed both for security and and just our everyday use. But it's it's I know it's the biggest one of the biggest problems for our government right now is the cyberspace, all the stuff that's going on there. But to get back to the foundation now, the foundation was a spinoff, was it not, of uh, uh, Friends of the Library? Well, we like to think of it as an evolution of the Friends of the Library. I like that word. We'll say evolution. The, The Friends have uh, are in the process of dissolving uh, as we speak, as the cliche goes. Uh, settlement has been reached between the city of Rancho Mirage, the library board, and the uh, Friends board. And uh, the future looks uh, very good for the foundation. The Friends were very good, and they were very good friends for us. Oh, Raised yes. A lot and of money. Uh, they included uh, the Annenbergs and the Fords. Uh, Sally Content and uh, many others. Well, and there was a huge Friends membership, too, to uh, supporting everything. There's presently about 1,200 members of the Friends who are now members of the uh, Ranch Mirage Public Library Foundation. Mm -hmm. And we'll be doing a membership drive in March. And uh, so folks will be hearing from us at that time. And we think we have a pretty good story to tell in terms of how funds will be used. They'll be targeted to Children's Summer Reading Club, which is uh, hugely popular. We fill in when the schools close. Mm -hmm. And we're very pleased to do that. And I think we do it pretty well. We have an event every Wednesday for kids and parents. And all through the week, we have book contests, reading contests, and these little kids hauling out. Uh, backpacks full of books just uh, make us very happy. We're really serving as a, as the library we want to be at that time. Well, and the foundation will also fund help fund the programming uh, as well as the uh, collection, the library collection, will it not? Absolutely. Yes. On the programming side, we've mentioned some of that, but uh, it's a very healthy uh, calendar, uh, notable, I think, considering that Rancho Mirage is a city of 17,000 permanent residents, but we're putting out a calendar that would, you'd think uh, we had 100,000 residents. Yes. And I, well, when I yes. go and talk to my library colleagues at national conferences, they cannot believe the scale of our activity and the uh, how robust our calendar is considering our size. And we'll talk a little bit, too, about uh, some of the upcoming events, but I think the, the major thing that we want to talk about right now, uh, uh, everyone is so excited at uh, Dennis Lehane's appearance at the 
Library's uh, 15th Annual Author Luncheon, which will take place on Thursday, February 10th, 2011, right at the Western Mission Hills Resort and Spa in Rancho Mirage. So uh, tell us, uh, do we know what he's going to be talking about, or is he going to surprise us? Well, I think every author better have some surprises up his or her <laughs> sleeve, so <laughs> or else they wouldn't be best-selling authors, That's and they wouldn't right. be the successes that they are, particularly in his case. Uh, his books are often dark and full of the real dialogue of real people in, uh, in real places, to overuse the word real. So I'm expecting that he's going to tell us a bit about his own background. Uh, maybe a little rough and tumble, and we will learn that, and I'm hoping that we'll learn how, <clears throat> whenever we have an author, I always kind of uh, preview with them in our green room, can you tell us how the germ of an idea begins, and how that, where that, whether it's a meteorite that hits you in, in the shower or when you were sleeping, and how that morphs into a full That's the question book. that I ask every author, and I feature an author every single week on the show, sometimes too. Uh, and uh, it's it's very interesting some of the answers that you get uh, 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 from them. But I think that's a very important question. I think people would love hearing that. Of course, he's got a new book out too. We're going to be talking about his new book when he's on my show, and he is going to be on my show uh, coming up soon. I believe it's uh, next week, as a matter of fact, that he's going to be on. Um, but uh, how how do people get? Uh, uh, Tickets, we won't say tickets, but how do they make reservations? They're listening, they want to come. And by the way, we are talking to David Bryant, the director of the Ranch Mirage Library, about the library and the big author luncheon. So how do they uh, make reservations? Well, Jacqueline, that? the best way would be to uh, call the library, and our number is 760-341-7323. The extension that they should ask for is 605, and on that extension, we'll take messages and uh, be able to uh, fulfill their ticket needs. Tickets are $75 each. That includes a champagne reception, uh, which is a gift from our council member, uh, Ron Mepos, and his wife, Lucy. Well, so we're good very for them. Isn't that, that generous? A great, gen a great gesture on their part to kind of give the uh, foundation a nice little jump start. And everybody loves a glass of champagne before lunch, and I know that's going to be followed with a wonderful lunch. By the way, the champagne reception starts at 1130, and then lunch is served at uh, at 12 noon. And and I think we want to mention, too, that at the resort, there is going to be valet parking. Yes, there People is. are always concerned, and... <laughs> I know some people have a, a few issues in, in getting around, so I think that's a very good thing. Well, we're very sensitive to our audience, and uh, though the age range is, uh, is, is uh, as one would expect, pretty pretty wide, we uh, we are aware, and I certainly put myself in the category of somebody who just loves valet parking. I do, too. It makes you feel so good about <laughs> yourself. You know, that's yes. <laughs> it's, uh, yes, it does. But there, we, there's uh, an ad on television, I don't know if you've seen it, uh, for one of the new, the American car companies that are coming out, and they talk that this is what they're pushing, the class of an automobile and showing people getting out at the valet parking. So I think you're you're absolutely right there. By the way, I want to mention that his new book, uh, Dennis Lehane's new book, is called uh, Moonlight Mile. And uh, I am going to be talking to him uh, uh, next, uh, next week about Moonlight Mile and his other books. And he's had so many books adapted into film. I mean, it's incredible. Did you see both Shutter Island and Mystic River? Uh, I saw both and was mightily impressed because I'd read both. So, yes. uh, and, and we know that, and I'm sure you've had this topic on your show, Jacqueline, is how, how does it feel as an author to see your, uh, and oftentimes we know the answer is, That's oh, right. no, what they did to my book, they <laughs> yeah. should be in jail. But in this case, uh, I, I, I'm sure we'll hear from Dennis Lehane on this, and I think he was very much a participant in getting them into film. That is, helping with the screenplay or whatever else. So. Well, that's it, because a lot of authors don't uh, uh, want to or are not requested to uh, work on the script, and most times they have no control over it. So, uh, yes, that's going to be something that I'll be talking to him about, his Great. involvement uh, uh, in the films. And like you say, I'm sure he's going to be talking about that well, we're uh, so pleased. The event. Well, thank you for having him on, so uh, tied into our uh, luncheon, because this luncheon means a lot to our foundation. Oh, it's yes, nice I always try to do that. Always. Well, we appreciate that very much. I mean, this is a big-time author. Oh, uh, all of these kidding. authors uh, uh, take their time to, to come here, and certainly we want to let people know that they're going to be here. There's nothing worse than learning 
after the fact, that something has gone on and you think, my goodness, why didn't I know about that? Now, you do, you're do. you doing a lot of wonderful promotion, so I don't apply that to you. But that happens a lot sometimes. Oh, we still hear that, Jacqueline. You'd be surprised. Even after an event of this magnitude where we'll be advertising, certainly in the Desert Sun, and there's posters all over the library and few around town, and we've done our mailing uh, to over 1,200 people, we'll still hear, oh, Wish I'd known about it. Yeah. <laughs> well, for goodness sake, where were you? <laughs> I, You know, I guess sometimes people have tunnel vision. When they're going to the library, maybe they're there for a specific reason and they're in a hurry or something. Who knows? But I think you do a very good job in promotion. And and uh, and, and certainly uh, uh, there's a newsletter that the, the city of Rancho Mirage puts out. And all of the events going on at the library are mentioned in that newsletter. And I always make sure I have that newsletter with me when I'm here in the studio. Well, I'm glad you've mentioned that. That's Mirage Scape, and that's a city publication. And we have two glorious pages right near the front of that uh, that magazine. Uh, it's a quarterly. But uh, we also have an e-newsletter now. We've, at the library end, we've decided, because with each event, I try to poll our audience, and I take a look at how did, how did you get here? How did I don't mean whether you drove a Chevy or a, right, right. a Hyundai, but <laughs> right. did you uh, read about it in the Desert Sun? Did you hear about it on a radio broadcast like Jacqueline's? Did you uh, see it in our program guide, which we're very pleased about, our quarterly guide? And it's won several national awards. And we're also finding out that people... Or who've signed up with us for email, and this is to your audience, if you want us to um, include you in our email blasts, as we call them, you'll get our newsletter. And again, the phone number is 760-341-7323. And just tell the folks who answer, we I'd like my email to be on your e-blast list. And, and you more do, and more, that's where we get our audience. Yes, yes. But uh, you, you also have a website. I know you're, you're going to be uh, creating a, a, a bigger uh, website. We are and, redesigning and, and it. And you are redesigning it. <clears throat> Pardon me, but you do have a website, so could you give that address? Oh, certainly. Rancho Mirage Library dot org. Rancho Mirage, we leave off the public in that case. Rancho Mirage Library dot org. And it, uh, it, it's a good website. We're not knocking it. There's some internal issues with the architecture, et cetera, that I wouldn't bore anybody with, including myself. But the uh, main thing is it'll be a much better website within a few months. Good. And there we'll find the foundation present and we'll find all of our events. Okay. Well, uh, now I know there's a couple of other things you wanted to mention, so let's get to that. Well, real quickly, we just celebrated our fifth anniversary. and We had our, our architect back, Jeff Scherer. Mm -hmm. He's a uh, Minneapolis-based architect who does work globally. And he was very pleased about the uh, fruits of his, uh, his intellect and labor five years later that the library has held up so well. And many of the features of our library are being put into place in other it's projects. It's a beautiful he's library, on. beautiful facility. Uh, interesting. In our first year, five years in that building, we are 15 years old overall. But in our first five years, we circulated 3.1 million books. Fantastic. We had 1.6 million visitors through the door. And we answered almost 400,000 questions. Now that and is in that time, incredible. our program attendance was topped 140,000 people. So those numbers are uh, pretty astonishing, again, with our population base. Well, and the fact is that you have so many events going on. We can't certainly talk about all of them, but there's music, there's speakers, there's, well, there's all kinds of things. So just mention some of the, the genre of, of events that, uh, that are coming up. Well, we... Uh, we and have, kids programs. Oh, we got to mention programs. that. Lots We're of great adding kids more story programs. Times. Yeah. We have uh, these are story hours for little kids. We have the uh, we have five of those per week, and just call us up and ask for our children's room, uh, or go to our website ranchmiragelibrary.org and you'll find all of that information. Well, uh, David, we are out of time, but boy, we sure covered a lot and I'm so happy to have had you here and uh, people uh, do call the library. Uh, go and see uh, Dennis Lehane and listen to the show next week when I'll have him on as a guest. Thank you again, David, for being here. Thank you, Jacqueline, for the opportunity. You're very welcome. Hold on, we'll be right back. <laughs> 